Welcome back. You've seen a lot this week about the latest machines and supporting services that take them to the next level. But Con Expo isn't Con Expo without the show attendees. So yesterday we talked with people right here to get a pulse on what the week has been like, both at the show and in Las Vegas. This morning, our focus will be more on construction industry and where we're headed. Our industry continues to evolve and the Volvo booth with specifically designed to showcase the products and solutions that can help customers be ready for the challenges and the opportunities that are sure to emerge. So what do show attendees think about it? What are they excited about? What surprised them here at the show? Let's hear from some of them ourselves. Watch this. But I really enjoy the remote controlled equipment because that's something I can use right now, currently in my own business. I would use it for skid steer and mini excavator. We do a lot of retaining walls back home. So somewhere to be that you don't have to be in the machine and that could be another person as well added to the crew. So we're expanding into building apartment complexes and I definitely think the growing of the equipment into more of an electric aspect is gonna help make those apartment complexes go a lot um, a lot faster. It's different, it's different. I mean, it's a good different. It's not like, uh, like what the heck are we doing kind of stuff. I mean, it, I feel like it's definitely a step in the right direction for moving forward. It's tight, confined areas where if you got electric motor there, you, one, the noise is reduc reduction, there's hardly any noise from the machine itself, and the fumes. I mean, the fumes is the biggest thing, just tight quarters. It's, it's much simpler to have electric motor. It makes the most sense. Having that ability to have GPS in your machine is quite nice to be able to see contours, grades. You know, it one, one man can do two man's job. You can take the guy that was actually assisting you and put him on something else to keep the project rolling a little bit faster. Like comfort features, just to make it more comfortable to be able to be in a machine for longer, longer periods of time as you're working on a job site for hours on end. Um, just being able to continue to do that with, with comfort. I like the log grapple loader. I've never seen anything like it. It can un unload a whole truck of logs at once. Uh, this gigantic wheel loader right there. I, I'd like to drive it out of here. <laughs> I'd like to go down, go down Main Street. Um, it was smooth, it was quiet, it was different. Um, definitely state of the art. Um, I guess my biggest thing would be having a diesel and that side by side and just to see how it performs all day, um, seeing you know how often you have to charge it uh, versus fueling it, that kind of thing. You know, the, the shoot up between the two is a, a big thing for me as an owner operator. Um, and so is maintenance too, you know, seeing what the maintenance cost is, the initial cost. I mean, you know, that, that kind of plays a factor into my opinion, but if it's all kind of the same, then I would say, you know, electric's probably, you know, uh, in the near future here. Really, really interesting to hear the different perspectives of booth attendees. I know Con Expo and Con Ag 2023 is in full swing, but it makes you wonder what new machine concepts or groundbreaking solutions we might actually see at the 2026 show, and for that matter, beyond. Really looking forward to it. I'm Linda Cruz. We'll be right back.